Hey everyone, uh, Steve here with Class A Servicing. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about selection intent. Now this is also in V5 and I've gotten a few questions about this from uh, students in some of my classes recently. How do we pick intelligently in uh, CATIA or 3DX uh, in regards to applying uh, edge blends and edge fillets and that type of thing? And um, as we know, we try to minimize the impact of boundary representations, basically an edge, a vertex, a face, that type of thing. And we try to pick things out of the tree for model stability. And um, if I come in and decide that I want to create edge fillets on these edges, if something were to happen, there's a potential that that edge would um, fail. Let me go ahead and put that edge on. Let me put this edge on over here say five millimeters okay great now um, I picked edges put those on and again if there's a potential for failure with uh, the boundary reps maybe it crosses over another face or something along those lines anybody that's been designing in CATIA for any length of time or any CAD system um, they all use boundary reps uh, you'll know that there's likelihood of a failure to occur it's just the nature of things but um, the good people at Dassault have figured out an extremely ingenious way of minimizing the impact of boundary representations when you're putting on your um, edge fillets within a model like this. Now, as you can see, I have a removed setup. If I, uh, if I go to that body, you can see it's just a block. And I'll just go to the remove and make it my work object. And the tool, let's say under edge fillet, uh, the selection method, I should say, is under called propagation. We all know tangent propagation picks all tangent edges. There's other propagation types, and I'm just going to use uh, intersection. Okay, I'm not going to cover them all. I'm just going to cover the intersection. Now, what this does for me is when I pick this remove, I want all of the faces or edges created that the remove makes. Okay, so if I do that, select OK, you'll notice they all get filleted. Okay, I didn't have to pick them one by one. That remove makes those edges. You'll notice it didn't fill it those inside edges because it didn't make those. Those inside edges occur on this body here. So if I want to fill it those, this is where I would have to actually use an edge. Okay. Now, what this does, let me put this one on is it builds some stability where those features intersect. So if I go to the remove now, okay, there's my remove occurring, and I go like that, and you'll see that it puts those blends on. There wasn't a failure, those fillets on it. There was no failure involved whatsoever because the system knows that whatever happens to this remove is the result gives me those edges. So if I come in here, and that's, those are the edges that pick. So if I go to this body, for example, and make that my work object, I have another body here. Let me show that one. It's a separate body. If I come in here to this body, right now updates are set to automatic. So you're not gonna see any update errors or anything like that. It's just gonna go right straight through and put the blends on, or the fillets on. So if I come in here, right mouse click, and add that to this body, so now it's another feature at the bottom of this tree, or that portion of the tree, and I come now, you'll notice there is no update errors, nothing. Define a work object to that edge fillet, it goes right on. No issues, no nothing, it does not fail, because it knows it's not going to fail. So if I come in here to this pad, for example, and I double click on it, and I decide I wanna add some additional curves, Pick the wrong one. There we go. Go like that. Now I'm going to do trim. Exit out. Once again, no failures. And the reason why I got no failures is because I'm using the intersection of this feature with this feature. So it automatically propagates all of those edges where that intersection is created. And just like that, we have no failures. So if you want to build a little bit of uh, modeling robustness and stability, 
go ahead and use that uh, intersection selection type. It does a fantastic job in making sure that these types of failures uh, between features do not fail. Obviously, if the blend can't or the fillet can't be placed, can't be put on, then um, it allows, uh, uh, then it'll come back and say the, the fillet can't be applied because it's a physical limitation of the model, but like in this case, it just doesn't. So that, once again, the tool is propagation type here, set to intersection. I'm a big fan of Booleans. I use Booleans a lot, and especially with that selection intent, I can pick all of those edges and put the fillets on, and if the edge count changes, or goes up or goes down, I don't get any failures with my model. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks again.